YouTube, I'm doing a video that I didn't even think I was going to do at any point because I didn't even know about it. But my Twitch chat has informed me that this is the time to enjoy some SCP Explained? Is what the video is called? Um... I'm a little nervous because my last memory of SCP was Containment Breach back when I was in middle school and one of my friends was playing it and you're not supposed to, you're supposed to time your blinks properly and it was horrifying. But I didn't know that there was like a whole entire like world built around it or even a plot. So I'm excited to see what we get into. Let's get it. Also, I hope you hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. And uh, stick around the channel because I post a lot of reactions and play a lot of video games here. So... You know what to do. Also, join us live over on Twitch. That's Alicia X Life over on Twitch and Alicia X Death here on the YouTubes. Let's get it. So, you stumbled upon or heard about a thing called SCP, and you're wondering what it's all about. Yeah. This guide has yeah. all the information you need to know about what the SCP Foundation is. Thank you for the and information. What it has to offer you. Okay. Think of it as the ultimate primer to the universe. And the wiki as it is. And you too could have the ultimate primer by using your Twitch Prime right now. If you hit the subscribe button on the Twitch channel, you too can check if there's a checkbox saying use Prime. Click that button to use your Twitch Prime for free and subscribe to the channel. That is the ultimate primer. Any primers in the chat? There we go. <laughs> and should be seen today. This guide is split up into three sections. And they I are as sections. follows. Number one. The basics. Oh, the An basics. introduction to the SCP Foundation and Wiki, covering the SCP format, object classes, in-universe lore about the Foundation, and important vocabulary, and why it all matters. I gotta learn vocabulary? Number two, in-universe elements. This covers some background information and a lot of commonly used terms that might leave a new reader lost or confused. Read! Number three, <laughs> things to read and do. A tour of the entire SCP universe, covering all modes of writing and different kinds of pieces that you can read. Okay. From dash J's to EX's, 001 proposals to groups of interest, tales, and canons. There's a lot more than just the SCP series. Okay, let's get started. The basics. This guy's voice is very soothing. <laughs> Does anyone feel like they're just a little baby being talked to and taught by their dad? <laughs> Hello, dad. What am I learning about today? <laughs> Can you teach me about the very calming, soothing, murderous subjects? <laughs> That's what they are, right? Operating just experiments. Clandestine and worldwide, the Foundation operates beyond jurisdiction, empowered and entrusted by every major national government with the task of containing anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena. These anomalies pose a significant threat to global security. The anomaly on by these nuts. Either physical or psychological harm. <laughs> Introduction. <laughs> Sorry. The SCP Foundation is a collaborative writing platform centering around a fictional foundation. I'm really hyper. A scientific <laughs> and military <laughs> organization that seeks to protect humanity and the status quo by locating and containing anomalies. Okay. Objects, life forms, events, locations, concepts, creations and phenomena that, in one way or another, violate natural law. I... On the SCP Wiki, authors tell stories and explore ideas within this urban fantasy science fiction universe, creating rich pieces of writing that take place in a world where the anomalous exists and I like to believe that if you got urban science fiction, it's just aliens wearing Gucci. They kind of urban like that, you know? <laughs> That's what I imagine when someone says urban... <laughs> Urban fan fantasy science shit? I don't know, chief. <laughs> and how people and organizations interact with them. These articles may showcase the different types of phenomena that might exist in this universe. But are they drips? The SCPs themselves. Or tell compelling narratives about life and interactions within the SCP world. Tales, canons, and groups of interest formats. The central focus of the mm -hmm. SCP wiki is the SCP file, commonly referred to as just... An SCP. It is a set of in-universe technical documentation supposedly compiled by the Foundation in an effort to understand, analyze, experiment with, and most importantly, contain the anomaly. Experiment with? <laughs> we fucking the aliens? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> 
like, we got to test them. Can we? The D class. <laughs> the SAP file is, in effect, a form of constrained writing. Oh, no, no. What person in chat goes, I wish. He said, probe me, senpai. Probe me. I'm ready. The alien does see. <laughs> Yo, Island. <laughs> this motherfucker said, really. Let's, listen, I put the words in your mouth right now. I'm sorry, but like, you, you have the energy of I'd bottom an alien. That's crazy. It's a way to tell a story about the nature and history of an anomalous <laughs> object or entity, whether directly or by hinting at some greater idea. Each SCP <laughs> is given a unique serial number or designation. And okay, on the that's wiki, cool. you can browse SCPs with designations ranging from 1 to 3,999. Oh, timeline wise, like this makes sense for like what I played. They are organized oh, cool. into four numerical series. Series like, 1, when I SCP 1 through to 999. Series 1 was written from 2007 to 2011. Series 2, SCP 1000 through to SCP-1999. Series 2 was written from 2011 to 2013. Mm -hmm. Series 3, SCP-2000 through to SCP-2999. Series 3 was written from 2013 to 2017. And Series 4, <laughs> SCP- He's like, he's kind of like an audio book. Like he'd just be reading the words on the screen for me. It's kind of, I bet you 100% that this is like meant for you to like close your eyes and just listen to. Like he's doing like a mini audiobook slash podcast vibe. You know? 3000. Like you don't need a watch. SCP-3999. Okay. This series is still being written, but it started in 2017. Oh yeah, sorry to the one person. VODs are not saved on Twitch for me. If you want to see it, you'll have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. Beep, 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 beep. I got two YouTube channels. I got Alicia X Life, where I do anime reactions. I got Alicia X Death, which is what we're currently making content for right now. So if you want to see VODs, you're going to have to subscribe to the YouTube channels. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. The SCP format. An SCP file has a very specific format that, in general, must be strictly adhered to. Mm -hmm. SCPs are the backbone of the entire franchise. These documents are the set pieces of the universe, showcasing its tone, stories, and possibilities. The basic format of an SCP is as follows. Item number. Okay. SCP hyphen, then the number. Object class, then a category name. Special containment procedures, then a detailed summary of all specific means needed to make sure the anomaly is safely contained. Description, then a technically written documentation of all things that the anomaly is. Oh my, just go hit that. Hold on, I'm just gonna hit that 1.25. Does and can do. And finally, supplements. Optional additional files added onto the base document. Nice. <laughs> Each SCP is given an object class based on the degree of containment difficulty. Here are the primary object classes. Okay. Safe. The anomaly can be contained by simply leaving it alone. No special procedures, methods, or events Honestly, are necessary. Honestly, for anomalies, why don't we just only get the safe ones, homie? Fuck the other ones, okay? If they're meant to take over the earth or be weird or fuck up a natural order, let them, you know? Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> If we could just contain them and leave them alone, that's my type of SCP. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no reason to, to mess with those. <laughs> to keep it from damaging the world. This does not necessarily mean it's not dangerous. A safe class object What about the children? Fuck them kids. <laughs> they ain't my kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you got, I got too hyper before starting the video. That's, that's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> and be world-threatening, if not contained. But it's just really easy to contain them. Some notable examples of safe class SCPs are SCP-1981, SCP-2579, SCP-993, SCP-1425, SCP 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 <laughs> and SCP-3039. That's pretty unbearable. All examples will be in the video description. Next, Euclid. 
the anomaly is inherently unpredictable or requires some amount of special effort to be contained. You're not quite sure what will happen if you leave it alone. Oh. And it might be a little bit more complex than a safe class entity, object, or phenomenon. Oh, that's kind of cool. Some notable examples of Euclid class SCPs are SCP-3008, SCP-426, SCP-1171, SCP-3001, and SCP- He just showed Ikea in a toaster. Why are you guys yelling infinite Ikea? Wait, what? <laughs> Don't shut up. That's not a thing. Shut up. No. <laughs> what do you mean, yep? Shut up. Why'd you guys all know it? I hate this mo. I hate you motherfuckers. What is this? <laughs> Alicia, you'll never believe it. The fridge aisle. They only have Samsung fridges. I know they're good quality, but I need options, bitch. It goes on forever. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Why is this so weird I, okay all right <laughs> do you know about the whirlpool dishwashers you thought they were only for laundry no the water pressure is incredible <laughs> you know i'm a grown-ass adult making stupid jokes like this you know you just <laughs> man cp 1609 and finally ketter these SCPs are really difficult to contain, requiring a huge expenditure of resources or extensively complex containment procedures. The most dangerous of phenomena are classed as Keter, often, but not always, posing an existential threat to humanity, the world, or universal structure itself. Some notable examples of Keter class SCPs are SCP-1739, SCP-231, SCP-2935, SCP-2293, and SCP-3200. Okay, I learned about this whole from the video from Internet Historian. <laughs> His whole video. I'm sorry, I had to make the joke. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I agree with this, like, this Keter thing, this Keter thing, whatever they said. This, this Kiki, are you riding thing? Because when I, I, when, I, <laughs> when I read, I also feel like I'm in danger. All right, I don't like reading that much. <laughs> <laughs> also this one this one actually has like a little picture of the like the a logo or something on it it kind of looks like a blank screen but it's not that's cool in addition there are a number of esoteric and secondary classes that are used much less than the big three that i just mentioned okay but still those? serve important purposes thaumiel this is a very rare object class only known to the highest levels of the foundation i kind of like how it's kind of easy to remember it's like safe and then the, like i just think of like e and then the other one's k like, I kind of just remember those, and then they, this is T. Like, they're all distinct enough that I can just remember them by their first letter. In essence, Samuel class objects are anti Keter. They are used in the containment or counteracting of other SCPs. They act oh. as powerful tools to be used by the Foundation, which normally rarely cool. uses anomalies. Some notable examples of Thaumiel class SCPs are SCP 2000, SCP 2003, <laughs> SCP 3000. <laughs> the counter to, 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 the, to the Keters? It's just using your brain, stupid. <laughs> just think, dumbass. <laughs> Thousand, SCP-179, and SCP-3031. <laughs> and finally, neutralized. Okay. It used to be anomalous. Now it's not. Maybe it just stopped working on its own. Maybe someone accidentally or purposefully destroyed it. Either way, it no longer has functional anomalous properties. Okay. Some notable examples of neutralized class SCPs. Are me, bitch, I'm broken. Call me neutralized because I ain't working right no more. Damn. SCP Alicia said. <laughs> SCP 1470. SCP Sad doggo, that's me. SCP that's my brain. Sad SCP brain. Don't work no more. And SCP 2420. Damn. <laughs> if you want to stop watching this guide now and start diving into the wiki, this is a good time to do so. But be sure to finish this guide if you're unsure of anything. Maybe you can pick one from the link from the description and then follow the cross. That's crazy to be making a YouTube video and being like, hey, if you want to leave, that's cool, dog. <laughs> that's a lot of confidence to have in your YouTube video to be like, I know you'll come back. You're going to deep dive on your own, but every hoe comes back. Like he, got, like he got a lot of confidence to say that in his video. I appreciate that. And navigation in the article. Maybe yeah. you can go to a series page. I highly recommend series two and three and just click on one with an intriguing title. Or you could roll the dice and press random SCP. One of the best ways to learn about the Foundation 
is to discover for yourself all the genres, emotions, and ideas it can evoke to keep that sense of mystery and gritty realism. There's still a lot to learn about the culture and vocabulary and universe of the site. You can find out and learn by yourself just by reading as much as you can. Playing it by ear, it's pretty fun that way. Or if you'd like to get a better handle on everything that's going on and a few more ways to drop you into the community, stay tuned. I still have a lot to show you. Next up, in-universe elements. Foundation structure and protocol. Security clearance represents how much information- I feel so bad for the one person who said SCP the Builder Bear. Did you mean build a bear? Did you never have a build a bear? It's okay, I didn't either. Them shits were expensive. I never had a build a bear. It's too much money. <laughs> but I get it. It's okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh builder bear is actually the name of an SCP? Fuck off. That's not an SCP. I thought you were just trying to make a joke about build a bear, like the workshop. What do you mean, IKEA and builder bear? This <laughs> is stupid. What am I watching? Nation <laughs> about an object you're allowed to know. If you've read through an SCP or two, you're bound to have seen these. Data expunged, redacted, or the text completely blacked out. These okay. keywords are common hallmarks and tools of narrative of the SCP wiki, signifying that the information has been classified to a higher clearance or has been cleansed completely. It adds an element of horror through absence that is classic to the SCP fan. Okay, all For right. For a great example of how security clearance levels can be used, read SCP-2317. There are also many types of workers in- I ain't gonna read that. But also, press 1 in chat if you already knew about this SPC, S, SCP shit. Press 2 if you had no idea. You're just kind of doing the thing. I just need to know, like, what's the ratio here? Oh my god. Ain't no fucking way. I saw maybe five twos, maybe seven now. Oh, that's crazy. I'm just here to be here. That's a vibe. Honestly, I just, I didn't realize, like, y'all really got it like that? I mean, yeah, fair enough. I mean, I have played one of the games as a kid, so that's, that's fair. Is this like the same vibe as like the, the, <laughs> what's it? I'm so sorry. Oh, people are going to hate me for Robert Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Five Nights at Freddy's. Is it like the same idea as like that whole rabbit hole thing? Because there's like lore to Five Nights at Freddy's, right? They're coming out with a movie, right? Sort of. No. Okay. My bad. <laughs> okay. I just... Man, I don't know none of this shit. I'm just trying my best. I just learned from you guys. That, we have containment specialists, researchers, and security tactical response officers. <sighs> there are field agents who are out in oh, the I world loved undercover back looking in the day. for signs the of The Russian sleep experiment is my favorite one. And mobile task forces, special units that are assigned to carry out certain dangerous jobs. The task forces document contains a list of mobile task forces along with their associated SCPs. The Foundation is usually thought of as a far-reaching organization. And so their bases are found across the globe, and sometimes outside of it. These bases can be sites or areas. For more information, read Secure Facilities Locations. The leaders of individual areas or sites are high-ranking Level 4 researchers known as Site Directors. There are few in the Foundation that rank higher than Site Director. And they are the O5 Council, the ultimate leaders of the entire Foundation. The Overseer Council, abbreviated to O5, is a group of 13 people who manage all Foundation operations worldwide and have complete access to all information, redacted or not. Their identities are classified for safety, and they are only referred to by their ID, 051 through 13. In addition, some versions of canon also include the existence of an administrator, the creator of the Foundation. Finally, one of the most interesting parts of the Foundation are D-class personnel, or class... My brain is simple. Also, I think it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, at the same time, it's like you got all these phenomenons and crazy shit happening. You only got 13 people at the top for the entire world. Damn. <laughs> I'd hate to be those fuckers. <laughs> Declassify these nuts. <laughs> these. The canon around D-class personnel helps showcase the colder and more morally gray side of the Foundation. In order to experiment with and contain SCPs, okay. the Foundation needs lab rats to test things with. Oh, Jesus. 
oftentimes they are recruited from death row or the prison population, oh, serving no. as expendable personnel that are used to handle hazardous anomalies. In the early days of the site, a common headcanon was oh, that shit. all D-Class were executed at the end of the month. However, this idea has gone out of fashion as the site has evolved. For more interesting stories about Class D personnel, try reading entries from the D-Class contest. Oh, that's what I would find super interesting. Terms to know. The SCP Wiki has created a wide set of terms. Honestly, I love, like, random, random true crime bullshit, bruh. I love, like, I like villain-esque mofuckers and just, like, I don't like, I don't like the people. I'm not like one of those people who, like, fetishize, like, killers and shit. I'm not like that. I like making fun of them. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's normal or not. Then I'm like, look at this boogity ass motherfucker with a whack ass hairline. Like, it's just fun to make fun of them. Like, if you take a life, if you harm people, then like, it's fair game. That's all I think, you know? Like, if you can hurt others, we can hurt your feelings. That's all. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's my favorite kind. <laughs> Monology and new innovations. Inventing concepts that are unique to the premise of the site and found nearly nowhere else in literature. You may want to know these terms before you dive in. Anomalous classifications. Okay. Memetic or meme. A <gasps> meme is any unit of Memes. information that can spread and transfer itself throughout society. Memetic effects deal with how the brain understands and reacts to media. It is a piece of data in the subject's mind that has I mean, an anomalous effect an actual, actual on that subject's physical or mental state yeah. that is spread when someone else becomes aware of the same information. In particular, Anomalous memetic agents are bits of hazardous the DNA information of the soul. that are like a mental virus. Dude, Metal Gear Rising is actually fucking sick. I love that game. Who are exposed to them. <laughs> anti-memetic or anti-meme. An anti-meme is the opposite of a meme. It has self-censoring properties. Anomalous anti-memes are perfectly mentally camouflaged, whether by making you unable to hold your perception of one in your short-term memory or making you unable to comprehend the concept of its existence. Cognito hazard. A cognito hazard is something that is dangerous when AKA your memes are whack. <laughs> we perceive it with one of the five senses. For example, a sound that causes you to bleed from every pore or a smell that causes you to go insane. All mimetic effects are a subset of cognito hazards, as in order to process the information, you have to sense it. Info hazard. Info hazards are anomalous effects that trigger when the mm. SCP is described, referred to, or acknowledged. You don't even have to sense the thing to be affected by an info hazard. You just have to know that it exists. It affects data written about the anomaly and people that are made aware of the existence of the Oh, a lot of, of horror effect. movies are based off of that. That's cool. Autokinetic or reality bender. An autokinetic being can manipulate the laws of reality, magic, through anomalous means. Groups of interest contain and study reality benders, often in unethical ways, creating some moral crises for the Foundation. Anart or an artist. Anart is short for anomalous art. Many people and groups aware of the existence of reality-breaking phenomena choose to explore it by creating often surrealist art with extra-normal properties, these people being called an artists. Narrativic or beta-physical. A narrativic anomaly manifests itself more like beta-physical eh, <laughs> within works of fiction, <laughs> I made a often joke in a affecting <laughs> the content of the work involved by creating characters, changing the setting, one, we'll or take blurring it. the line between fiction and the reality. The pataphorical or pataphysical SCP explores narrativic anomalies using the wiki itself as the narrative. It explores the idea of characters we write on the website attempting to communicate and manipulate us, and being aware of things on the website like author pages, deletions, and discussion forums. <laughs> I appreciate how some of you will just be like, yeah, I got you back, homie, I'll laugh at it. <laughs> w people. Also, the L person is a person who goes, pata means feet in Spanish. Why? Why? Why, Birdo? Why? <laughs> like, just why? <laughs> like, you good? <laughs> and then you finger guns after. Man, <laughs> fuck these motherfuckers. <laughs> I hate Technology my chat. Technology and engineering. <laughs> Scranton reality anchor. Scranton reality it's anchors true, are technological I know he's devices right. like, that's, used oh, okay. by the foundation to essentially regulate consensus reality. They cancel out or prevent the effects of reality betting entities and anchor down areas where the level of unreality is higher or lower oh, than that's normal, cool. okay, counter so betting like, it yeah, so that like it matches the reality that we know it. and inhabit. Yeah. Many contemporary authors have criticized the widespread use of SRAs as a catch-all for containing any type of structural or ontokinetic effect. Telekill. The SRA, back in the old days. Except the problem was worse. 
in its original form, it was a metal that blocked all mind-affecting or compulsive effects. People went crazy over it and started using it in all their containment procedures, and mistakenly thought it also blocked mimetic effects. Scranton's rewrite of the article added some nuances and drawbacks to it. Do I gotta be and its usage had Are the telekill teletubbies? Do we gotta be concerned? It fallen by the wayside anyway, as people have became more innovative with writing. Humes, a unit of measurement that measures the intensity of reality present in an area. Crucial to understanding how SRAs and other technologies <laughs> well, the they are useful in quantifying how powerful reality bending effects are relative to each other. There are teletubby scenario, SCP. A term used to classify possible apocalypse scenarios, which the Foundation deals with on a daily basis when discussing the possible outcomes of dangerous effects or entities. The most common type is XK class, which describes a conventional destruction of the planet scenario. There are multiple minor ones whose exact definitions and canon are being argued over, including CK class, the restructuring of a reality. A Who's gonna pay for my tinfoil hat? I'm, I got questions here. Who gonna pay for my tinfoil hat for my model? If we watch this shit like this, I deserve to have one paid for. <laughs> Cause what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm failing this test, bro. I got the first few terms down. <laughs> where, where we go here? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Gifties! Gifties, 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 gifties. Thank you so much, Black Gold. Oh, bro. <laughs> Black Gold paid for the tinfoil hat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you so could leave now. Yeah. K class, humanity here goes we crazy. Are. SK class, the dominant but species real, though, on thank Earth you so is much no longer humans. Subs. I appreciate and the ZK shit out class, of that. <laughs> reality universal failure. Amnestic, mind wipe drugs. A narrative tool used by authors to explain a how the foundation is able to keep the masquerade of secrecy and b to create whichever part of my brain remembers like shit from like high school. Like high school math <laughs> from calculus. Any does anybody who's like a full grown ass adult who doesn't use calculus in their current job, do you remember any of that shit? Cause I think this is what they used on me. I don't remember dick. Like I don't remember anything. If I saw something now, I couldn't answer it. That's for damn sure. And it's crazy. Like I used to do well on tests. How? Like, I, it's just not in my brain anymore. <laughs> Stories dealing with memory Your SCP's and got my math. In the universe, these are simply chemicals that erase a normal human's memory of some amount of time. When the Foundation has to recover an anomaly in the real world or seriously messes up, these are used. Damn. Things to read and do. A math teacher a whole ass There's mess more to than the I guess. There's more the SCP series. <laughs> in this section, I open the door to the other areas of the site that are part of the Foundation universe as well as answer some common questions about key but confusing parts of this. All right, I will pause the video here. I will end the YouTube video here. And if this YouTube video hits 2,000 likes, we do a part two and finish this video. That is what we are doing now. It's in your hands, YouTube. In your hands. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you would like to see what's beyond the doors, yes. Then you must hit the like button. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, YouTube.